Back in the garage today. Back in the back in the garage. Back in the garage today. Back in the garage. Back in the garage. Back in the garage today. What's going on, guys? Back in the garage today. Getting ready to do some upgrades to Pete's 2011 V-Strom 650. Next thing we're gonna do, because we just put new tires on it, and that was in another video, which I'll link up here if you want to know how to remove the wheels and reinstall the wheels. Uh, we're gonna put some crash bars on. That way, we've got some mounting points from for some uh, additional things we're gonna do to it. So. Uh, Let's get these crash bars opened up and see if we can get them installed this afternoon. These guys also don't play around with the packing. No, these things are uh, definitely well packed, which is funny because they're meant to just go on the ground instead of the bike. But we'll get these things opened up. Okay, so inside the bag here, we've got some instructions, we've got a parts list, and then we also have a mounting kit here. We've got a few different screws, adapters, supports, those sorts of things. Let me show you what the crash bars themselves look like. So Pete's got one in his hands here. Was it powder coated black? It looks like uh, we're going to get these kind of lined up, and they'll sh we'll show you what bolts and stuff you got to take out and replace to get these things mounted on this V-Strom. So we're starting out here on the right-hand side of the bike. We've got a six millimeter hex. We're going to go ahead and pull these two bolts out. Okay, so with those two bolts removed, the next thing we're going to do is move on to our crash bar. We've got this little piece here, and then you're gonna grab your uh, your flathead screw, just seats down in there, and we're gonna mount it right here. Now we are gonna put a little Loctite on here. We'll show you what it looks like when we get done with it. We're actually gonna go ahead and take these front two bolts off too. Okay, so this is the little piece we added on with a little five millimeter screw that went in. We are not gonna reuse the factory bolts we're going to use the ones I'm throwing on the floor. Actually, we're going to use these uh, longer bolts that GV included, and we're going to put those back in. Do not remove bolts from both sides because that's helping hold the engine in, I believe, and we don't want it falling down. So just work one side at a time. We're going to get these bolts added in, put a little bit of Loctite on them, get them locked down, and then we'll move on to the next steps. So using the uh, four Phillips screws provided, we've got these little uh, plastic protectors that kind of go on the uh, outside of the crash bar here uh, for two reasons. One, probably just for looks because it's got the GV name on there. And two, in the event of a tip over, those should hit the ground before the bars do. And I'm guessing those are a whole lot cheaper to replace than uh, getting the bars repowder coated or repainted. Now before we move over to the other side of the bike, we have these plastic end caps that we can pop in to the uh, screw heads there just to keep weather and water and stuff out and just cleans it up the look a little bit and they just pop right in. Looks nice and clean. And you can see Pete's got the, uh, the little GV plastic piece mounted up there on the crash bar now as well. So before we go ahead and put this bar on, we're just going to go ahead and put that little protective piece on first. And the process is basically the same. We're going to put this little bracket on using you know this uh i hate to call it flat screw but what do i want to say pete uh recessed screw that goes down in there and then we're going to pull the four bolts out just like we did before and then put the uh gv bolts back in that are a little bit longer and then basically we'll have one more step after that where we've got to join the bars in front of the engine or in front of the bike So with the bolts removed, one thing we're going to do a little bit different than the other side, when we put these new bolts in, we're not going to tighten them down. We're just going to get them started because we've got to do a little bit of work to, front of, to the front of the bike, and that'll give us a little bit of slack, a little bit of wiggle room to get that done. All right, so the reason we wanted that wiggle room is up here in the front of the bike, we've got this piece, and it's got two O-rings. We're going to slide that in between the two crash bars, so that ought to go together now. Once we bend it a little bit there, you're going to need a little bit of slack. All right, so that's together. And now this final piece here, we've got a bolt with a washer on it, and then there's a spacer that goes in between. And does it thread through? Yeah. It threads through on this side right here. So we've got to run the bolt through from, from the right side to the left side. We're gonna put a little bit of Loctite on that. All right, so Pete's gonna hold that spacer there. Can you push that bar in a little bit and we'll get, get a bite. And then we'll just grab the Allen and tighten that down. Alright, so you can see we've got that front piece all tightened up there. Now we're going to move around and tighten up those final four bolts over on the left-hand side of the bike. All 
All right, so that is the finished product. That is the GV Crash Bars mounted on a Suzuki V-Strom. I think they look pretty good, but Pete, it's your bike. What do you think? Love it. All right, guys, so that's it. That's how you installed GV Crash Bars on a Suzuki V-Strom. Pretty easy job, and I think they look great. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, consider hitting that subscribe button because if you like motorcycles, this is the place to be. If you have any questions about the Crash Bars, the install process, let me know down in the comments section below. I'll do my best to answer them. And as always, I'll talk to you again soon.